Globally, one in eight people live with a mental disorder. Now, imagine that you happen to live in a low-income country where there's only one psychiatric hospital with beds for inpatients and where access to first-line medication is limited. This is a reality in Rwanda, where my PC colleague Emmanuel lives. He's one of only 15 psychiatrists in a country of more than 14 million people. And that's where him and I have conducted the first randomized controlled trial in psychiatry. Today, education and mental illness, also called psychoeducation, is part of standard care if you have bipolar disorder in a global north setting. Yet, before this project, to our knowledge, no studies has assessed the effectiveness of psychoeducation on relapse prevention for people with bipolar disorder in a low-income country. In fact, our research identified only three intervention studies for people with bipolar disorder in any low-income country. Yet, despite having almost no infrastructure for research and running into multiple lockdowns during the pandemic, we have shown that psychoeducation can prevent hospitalizations in settings with no access to first-line treatment such as lithium. Get the full story of our adventure at the PhD Day.